We call on this. Hey, Jesus! Happy Sunday, hey, fellas. Buddy. What's Dick up? Cat swaps. Hey, Everybody's hey. in the house. Oh man, what a crew today we got. We got the the legendary Scott Aromatico. Uh, back on again. Yes, yes. sir. Back on yes. again yes. for a second appearance. Uh, yeah. Now, so Scott, nice you just hit uh, just hit what 1,200, 1,200 subs. Um, I'm close to twenty five hundred. I think I'm 25. like fifty. 50 away. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. There we go. Oh, awesome. So if you are oh so God. if you are not subscribed to the Scott Aromatical yeah, channel and you are watching this, them. subscribe, man. Let's get him I to that 2500, bro. That's my, what's my, up, man. My second, my, second there, year man. Is, my second year is up in September, so it's pretty okay. cool. Okay. Nice. Oh, wow, you've been doing it for two years already? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh man. God. Yo, Working time flies. Because I remember hitting you up and it was like, I think you had been doing it for like a few months or something like that. You had so, like 200 subs when you hit yeah. me up. Yeah. Wow. See, look yeah, at that, people. Beautiful. beautiful things happen if you keep grinding. So yeah. uh, shout out to Scott. Can. Yeah, uh, no, nah, listen, man. I just I just help how I can help, man. Everybody, people <laughs> no, help me out of them. Nah, that's, that's what's up, man. It is. Uh, no so I got everybody smelling something. There you go. So as y'all can see today, we're going to talk a little bit about tobacco fragrances. But yeah. of course, it wouldn't be Sunday if we didn't go around and do everybody's scent of the day. So we'll start with our guest that's below me, Mr. Scott Aromatico. Scott, what was your scent of the day today, sir? Uh, today I'm wearing Stronger With You Oud. <laughs> oh, how is that one? How is that one? Do, do we like it or do, or do we have to wait for the review? The re review is going to be out tomorrow. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't wait okay. For that one, dude. All right. So everybody, keep your eyes and ears open, sir. So, oh, and he got the bottle. Oh, damn, that's cool. He spent like seven hundred dollars. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's what's up, man. That that's... thing was like the fastest thing. Oh. Like that hit the fragrance marketplace, and like boom, Fred Bev was out in five minutes. It was yeah. Like... Your home oh, yeah, arcade, yeah. basically. And they restocked too, but uh, I, you right. know, a, a lot of people it's want that. Again, one. Like, yeah, yeah, no, nah, that's what's up. So, everybody, if you want to know how Scott enjoyed that, watch his yeah. video tomorrow. Uh, Mark, what about you, sir? What was your SOTD? So, I've actually been wearing one today that I was going to talk about as kind of a first impression. So, okay, I wanted to talk about this one a little bit as the SOTD because I'll spray it again. Oh, god. I'm do it. What is it? This is uh, Sense of Wood Oak and Oak. Oh, oh and Oak. I you had a decan on that one, right? Yeah, this is a decan that Anthony Pearl sent me. Oh, Anthony, okay. Right on. And, and this hey, smells there you go. Bam bad. Is it good? Yeah, he said, you know, like this smells like uh, antique chess, wood chess or something like that. Yeah, I totally mm. believe that. And I think I've talked about stuff like that on here, but like, yeah, it's like, it has a very like good reminiscence for whiskey, like one of the closest like whiskey scents I've seen. Mm -hmm. So like that oak, that whiskey in an oak barrel right. type of scent. Okay. Yeah, like literally the oak barrel you're smelling good whiskey. So yeah, this was a fun one. I might like that. That sounds good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's like not cheap. I went looking for No, bottles. no, that's a good brand. I mean, they do the plum and cognac one and uh they got a couple other high end right. joints that I and those, yeah. Those yeah, are not cheap. You're not finding thing. you're not finding those in the forty dollar TV group. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this one will accompany me well along the journey tonight. I feel like so. there you go. All right, oh, nice, yeah, Mister Hazy. Hazy fragrance reviews on YouTube. Like and sub. Like and sub. What are we rocking today, sir? And don't <laughs> tell me. Don't tell me your card noir, please. No, no. <laughs> oh my god. I could as always. Uh, we no, know. No, no. I did my my trusted layer now the Latafa Raw Ed Lux and Cool Water Grapefruit and Sage. Nice. And I got complimented again on it. There you go. Nice. So it's a winner. Nice. It's a winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you? I went to Dunkin' Donuts and she was like, "Oh, you smell really good." And I was like, ah, this is combo, "Okay, so okay, just, don't tell Nina." Before. Don't tell Nina. It's <laughs> forty dollars for two fragrances. Spray them together, and you smell really good. Wave <laughs> must Carter hands rocking. Wave must Carter. How is that? Oh, Comment that, in the that chat how that is. Yeah, that sorry, one sounds interesting. I that one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I just grabbed this one up today. This is a D squared wood. I don't know if I can. Mm. Here we go. I okay. just grabbed the randomly put that on a uh, ginger, violet, uh, bergamot, citrus, ambroxan, woody notes. 
real simple, but it smells good. Just kicking it around the house. So I threw that on uh, before we got on. So, uh, yeah. but that's it. That's Wait, it. Wait, so I forgot we're... to mention I had this one on tonight. Oh, dear, I have a third. oh you oh! throw that on tonight. Oh, the okay. Desert Toxic, which will be part of our giveaway. Yes. But, oh, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll speak about that later, but this, this is one of the things not this exactly can't. I don't think that's the tobacco episode, though. No, it's not tobacco. It's just like... It's <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go around. Uh, we're just going to talk about, you know, tobacco fragrances that we enjoy or that we recommend or, you know, that we're looking forward to wearing as the weather cools down a little bit. Uh, everybody's got a few selections. And uh, we'll just go around in a circle and chit-chat, man. We might put each other onto some stuff we don't even know. So uh, we'll start with the legend himself. Mr. Scott Aromatical. Scott, what is your first fragrance? Uh, also, we're going to do the Fragrantica. Oh, oh see, see, I knew it. That one. See, I knew it. Sundowner right, by Tower. All right. Uh, I remember you doing videos about this one, and uh, I don't really remember much about that. the fragrance, but I remember you liking this one a lot. So what's it yeah, called? Sun, sun Tower? Sun, sun Downer. It's Downer. like the drink. There's a oh, drink called it. Sun Downer. Okay, um, and this there is done. I don't know okay. what's the drink. Yeah, uh, it's you know it's one of those tropical drinks you drink on a cruise or you know. Oh, okay. Kind of, okay. okay. Like at night, nighttime. Yeah, this kind of doesn't sunset. have like anything to do with the ingredients from that drink. This is just kind of more of capturing that vibe, you know, mm. the sun going down at night and um, enjoying a, a long day of. I think the way Towers Tower describes it is, you know, kind of being out in Africa and um, exploring the wild, and then you know, just kind of chilling after a long day and watching the sun go down. Nice. Um, yeah, but you've got the notes there, so I won't read yeah. that to you. Yeah, we got cinnamon, orange, uh, rose oil. Very interesting. You got mm -hmm. uh, like he mentioned in the drink has chocolate, so you got that cacao note in here. Yeah, uh, Cipriol, ambergris, sandalwood. But this sounds really good. It's oh. nice. What's you know, it still has thing? that, like a lot of the Andy Tower fragrances have this uh, anamolic DNA, so there's a little bit of that, you know, you know, with a little bit of uh, warm warmness to it and, you know, spiciness, but you you definitely, when you smell it, you definitely can tell it's a Tower perfume, for sure. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this if smells that makes like, sense. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Oud Wood, a little comparison there. Smells like a there. Tom Ford. Smells like a Tom Ford. Uh, I, I, I feel like I have a, oh, good. didn't we? Um, we did a sample of one of the towers that one time, remember? That was a few episodes ago. It was for real strong. That's where I'm trying yeah, to Yeah, I remember you smell talking tower about it. from. Yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. The no this one doesn't look and... like it would be super challenging. No, this it... one looks good, man. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Nice pick, sir. Definitely I like a it. Hit. I like it. Sweet Very nice. Like a sweet, is it like a sweet tobacco? Because I know we're going to be talking about sweeter tobaccos or, you know, like, like leaf tobacco. Leafy, right? yeah. What, what are we talking kind of tobacco here, Scott? Sweet? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty sweet. You know, the Good. citrus really hits you right away. Um, and then you've got, you've got a, um, yeah, definitely a sweetness. But like I said, and there's like this uh, earthy hay-like uh, vibe going on with it as well. And then, like most, a lot of the tower perfumes, they really have this, like, uh, I think amber, you know, and like the, the spicy uh, DNA that they have. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, just very, like, kind of like on a mala to me. Um, I, I detect a lot of that in the DNA of, of tower perfumes. So you'll, if you, if you have a lot of them, you definitely know what I was talking about. It's kind of hard to uh, describe, but okay. Yeah. Um, I don't, did you guys ever, what is that? The Moroccan desert is uh, that one. Mm -hmm. there, that one. one. Yeah. It, it, Mark, Mark you, talked about that too. Yeah. If you smell that one, you're going to notice kind of the same DNA in this one as well. That's in that. You know, I couldn't very... remember if that was power. I didn't want to go for my mind. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, you tried that, Mark. You spoke yeah, that one is and that one is not challenging at all. Uh what do you that's what do you think one. of this? Um do you think it leans uh masculine or is it kind of unisex this one? Uh, uh oh I'm all right. We're, we're all good. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna I'm fall, bad. dude. Too many sundowners. Uh that's it. <laughs> yeah to me it uh it, it's ma it's leans masculine but and, okay yeah yeah because yeah. i see it's uh unisex here so sometimes they lean one way or the other yeah oh, very nice to me, it, to me it leans masculine masculine okay okay very nice well, but i think what you said too at least one category i think we'll see a lot of tonight is amber 
spicy tobacco, right? Like, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. That two makes sense. Things go together. Yeah, that yeah. is a cool. That is a cool bottle, like Carter said. I, I really do like that. That's a nice presentation. Nice, nice. All nice. right, Mister Mister Governor, what you got? All right. Yeah, okay. The the first one I wanted to talk about now is when I got in. I know this uh, oh, oh the, the radical that's the one people are talking about right yeah i opened this one up today just because yeah it seems like we're getting oh, into nice. that fall so this is a good time to is that the check uh, it out. the uh, looks like a christmas ornament <laughs> mm -hmm. it's yeah, actually no. kind of a nice bottle i thought it was going to be way chintzier and it's like i don't know it's probably plastic but the way it's done it feels like pretty solid i dig yeah. it but, and, uh, yeah Nice so, notes. Um, so yeah, again, yeah. like you said, with the spices and stuff in there, yep. Yeah. Incense yeah. and pepper, typical Mark notes. <laughs> I mean, yep. this looks a lot like Mark on paper. Yeah, it does. But I would say it does. It's, it's not really. It's not really what I expect. What's it compared to? Uh, I think this is supposed to be a mix of like uh, Lom Idia, Eau de Parfum, and and uh, Herat. Oh. And, and and the insurrection wild on there, huh? Yeah, Ooh. look at these. I mean, these four I are bangers. Know. So, like, I I think I have a good. I mean, I know what insurrection smells like, and I know what. Um, uh, I think I know what Herod smells like, and I've smelled the EDP, but I haven't smelled it a ton. But I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> really. I don't know, man. In terms of smells, like it to me, it smells a lot like the Jumanji. Um, absolute uh oh yeah you sent me that one yeah yeah it's kind of like light spicy sweet a little bit i don't know yeah that javanchi you pick up that uh that cinnamon note a lot in that one so yeah. it, it, you feel the same in this one a little bit yeah the cinnamon note definitely and um, one thing i i got from the armas i was smelling it so much trying to get into it and i start making my nose hurt so like I remember this happening on like the Club Nui Siage too, the first time I smelled it. Like mm -hmm. our moss stuff is strong and these it pepper is. notes are strong with them. So everything I don't know what, is I'm not, I'm not gonna say that it's toxic chemicals, but it's strong. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, and the lemon thing. and the lavender really comes through too, which mm. it isn't my ideal thing for the set of fragrance, but it's done well. It's it better than like over or old hmm. for nice for like that lavender tobacco. Combo. Good rating, four point two. But uh, yeah, first impressions though. I I I, I got to give it some more wearing. I think. Nice, nice low breakdown on that too. I might have to try to grab that one. Yeah. Uh, Mister Hazy, what we got? Uh, I want to bring up something interesting since sure. we're there. I'll bring up uh, Perry Ellis Oud Black Vanilla Absolute. Oh, uh, you best. know I love this one. This is that beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, it has like white tobacco in it, so I think it's more like a see, see white floral. In white there. floral, yeah. So it's like a white floral kind of tobacco base. It's very mm -hmm. light, very white vanilla tobacco. forward, vanilla forward rum. So, you know the oud is really blended, but the, the white tobacco really is nice in this one. Black this one, amber, this one. white tobacco, and black amber. That's yeah. very interesting. Wow. Well, this is this is a purely beautiful fragrance. I re I mean, I really want a bottle of it, but it's very is, expensive. Is this continued? Is it for Perrielis? Uh, I'm not sure. This was hard to get into in the states for a while. Okay. I got this from that place. Well, I got I, I tried it at this place at that place in uh Scent Masters in um the PA in Reading. Mm -hmm. This is and, be and the guy just put he put me onto it and I found it, finally found a decant on the groups and it just smells so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's a very like I said, vanilla oh, forward, wild. but it's a beautiful, beautiful I'm curious vanilla, about that. nice, clean oud, and then that 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 white floral tobacco. It's just this is. A, uh, I can't it, wait to wear this one for for the uh, winter fall. It really cuts through, and it's a long lasting vanilla. Yeah, they, these notes are nice. I mean, this sounds the this sounds kind of unisex it, too. Is a unisex like a floral, yeah. yeah, it definitely is. It's a white floral tobacco, and it's interesting because it's like almost has like a like a dirtiness i don't know man it's really good mm, no that sounds good i, I like the I, it. I like the rum and the vanilla too that's yeah. always a nice combination that sounds yeah. good man little yeah, oud. yeah 
<laughs> it's not a heavy oud fragrance. It's a, it, the, the oud is very light in it, but it works really well. Nice. Yeah, this sounds good, man. I, I like that. Uh, if you could yeah. find this for a good price, because I know, I know this is one that has been, you it's know, up there. I don't know. Do they have any prices listed? Yeah, 150, 139, 170, yeah. 200, 307. Uh, 307. The decant will do me well because you know it lasts. It's a good, good, very good fragrance. I thought I'd do something a little different. Yeah. That decant has probably increased in value. Sure. Do, uh, let's see. I'll do this one. I'll go with this one. Nice. Eight mil. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with this one. I got it right here. I'll yeah. start off with this oh, one. I think this is a right. good one. I have uh, not tobacco, tried this one. Tobacco's low, but. Yeah, this smells good, man. This is um so the so it's not like a super heavy scent. A lot of people compare it to spice bomb. Um, but I think the big difference is that rum note. Uh you definitely pick up that rum in the top. Uh the tobacco's right in the top. No, I mean you got Alberto who's the perfumer, so you know you can't go wrong with this one. Uh leathery, yeah, a little bit in the dry down. The iris gives it a little bit of powderiness. Um yeah, Gayak wood too. It's I find it tends to be like a little bit on the sweet side. And then this and this, I think, you know, it, it gets sweeter as it dries. Um, it's not like a super loud fragrance is more. I find it more like an intimate, maybe date type of fragrance. But um, for the cold weather, I think this is this is a good one, man. This smells really good. Um, yeah, I see you compare the spice bomb uh, I, a little bit. I could see this. This one I find is a little bit more vanilla with the tobacco, which this mm. is a good tobacco scent, too. Um, yes. the Black Orient. I don't think I've smelled that one, but yeah, perfect for day night during the holidays. See, that's pretty much what I'm thinking. Not too loud or obnoxious. Um, but yeah, it, it smells really good quality too. I mean, you could probably still find these for a decent price, like in the sixty range or so. So I definitely think it's worth checking out. I've gone through like as far as decan, I think I've th I maybe gone through five bottles of this. Ooh. Yeah, uh, yeah. A lot of guys got this for me to try, so I've, yeah. I've definitely, I've definitely bought this like five times at least. Wow, I still yeah. have not. You know, I've tried a few in this line, but this is not one of the ones that I've tried. Oh, uh, so good, so under, good. This is a good one. Yeah, an underrated line because uh, sometimes I feel like they're very pricey for what you get. But like, mm -hmm. think this one, this one, if you were to pay like seventy bucks for, I don't think you're getting ripped off. I think that's a solid price for this one. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. And uh, yeah, this uh, this one, this one's nice for the winter time too, man. But as far as tobacco, it's only in the open. It's not. It doesn't really linger the life of the fragrance, but you definitely get that sweet, like cigar pipe type tobacco mixed with that rum, like right off the bat. So it's yeah, definitely yeah, a, yeah. It's, it's, it's a nice one. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mister Scott, what's number dose? I had that one too, buddy, but that's okay. I've got a different Whoa. one as well. Oh, so okay. Ooh, look at that. That's that's okay. that happens. Great yeah, minds yeah, think right. alike, baby. Jared will come oh. up with one for you. I uh -huh. like that one. What you got there? We got Oud Maliki by Shofar. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's the that, the that, was a, that was definitely an honorable mention. Here. So good. First, First thing, the the tobacco, God. number one. Very nice. So grapefruit. It's, 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 oh, look at these yes. notes. Delicious. Ooh, grapefruit, great lavender, yeah. artemisia, Ooh, tobacco, spices, leather, good. oud. Yeah, this sounds Ambergris. good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, this one is very elegant. It's very classy. I like this men. one a lot. Nice. Uh, uh, let's out. see. Have you worn good this rating, one, Scott? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've, got a bit, I've got a bit of a dent in it from last year. Okay. This is going to be more like a seasonal fall. And yeah, and this one definitely you, right? definitely reminds me of uh, fall and winter for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, of course. It's one of those one of those fragrances I don't feel like you know everybody and their brothers wearing. So you're definitely going to stand apart, I think, with this one as well. Yeah, nice. I love the presentation because the bottle is solid. It's very, very, very looks heavy. Good. Yeah, Not yeah that, it looks you know, nice. Some people like that. You it know. looks classy. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Gotta try that one. Too. Like it yeah, might man. be my yeah. speed. I get, for sure. I get about I get about six hours. Good. I mean, that's good enough. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, uh, price yeah. price point on this one is this one like on the higher end or? Man, I don't remember what I bought, what I paid for it. It was. Let's see. It was a I see one one twenty, one hundred, one nineteen. I, I was gonna say like just popping up for sixty was probably okay. Ceiling, but that's pretty good. That's not bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, this sounds nice, man. I mean, it's your part jewelry brand, right? I think they do jewelry. Yep, definitely. Yep. Oh, oh, is that okay. what it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I always know, yes. know this stuff. That I'm like, yes, now I know that. Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Show part wish is you're nice. welcome. I'm a plethora yeah, of you, knowledge. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> that show part wish. That's like a shape. Sounds like an angel. Yeah. yeah. They yeah, do yeah. like they do like high end jewelry though, like really yeah. expensive pieces really? and stuff like that. Yeah. Really, 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 like, really, just, really like Cartier. Right. Cartier does jewelry too. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Cartier is big for watches too. I know that Pasha mm-hmm. line is based on their watches for men, and those things yeah. are like, yeah, those things are like houses, <laughs> house prices. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, nice, that. nice pick. I know this is a popular one, but like I think, we're like Scott said too, this is one like you're not gonna run into a lot of people wearing. So if you pop this out, you good money. Yeah. Very nice. And this is solid all the way from all the Mr. Governor, what you got? Yeah. All right. This is one that I just picked up recently. Uh, thanks Boy, to, you be uh, spending that money, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. This is Joel Burrell. I got that decan. Oh, us. when you guys swap. Yeah, nice. Yeah. He gave what me you couple. got? This is what? called Dip Teak. Nice. Oh, Dip Teak. Uh, mm-hmm. Which one is it? Dip Teak. Volutes. V O L U. No, sorry. V. Which one? V. 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 Oh, V. Okay. V O O L U. Oh, the Oda Parfum? There you go. Oh, All right. I never tried this. Never tried this. Uh, tobacco, Mary, first Mary, thing. Ooh, I never heard honey, of this either. Honey. Tobacco, iris, honey, spices, and styrax. Oh, I like ooh. styrax. That's the resin. That's very nice. Oh, that looks good. Oh, this looks nice. Hmm. How yeah, this it like? one, like, it's very dark, woody, resinous. Hold on a second. I was going to be better prepared for this. Oh, it smells oh. like, uh, say, 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 it smells like Sergi a little bit from Serge Luton. Uh, what's yours? What's this? Armani Privé. Sure, Majesty. Majest. It's a good line, too, by the way. If you never smell much from this Armani Privé line, they got some nice ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely, you know, I, I got into this, I think, with the, um, the, the amber kind of honey and, uh, like, the, the resinous kind of notes for it. Mm-hmm. Not so much the tobacco hit me strong. And, um, yeah, unfortunately... I think this one goes through a few different phases. So mostly that's what I'm getting now, like that amber resin base. Yeah, and Styrax is a nice I, resin. Yeah, like one that I just like first off saw, smelled it. And said, oh yeah, that one smells great. Really Where were the notes? Oh, I just passed them. All right. Okay, there you go. No, I was like, it's kind of interesting that yeah, the way like the iris kind of mixes, it's kind of like I don't know. It almost gets like the the resins like almost like a clay feel. Okay. And then uh, mm. and then the tobacco kind of sits on all top all the top of that. Tobacco and honey usually go nice together too. It's not yeah. like it's not like super niche like, but it's something you could definitely like definitely a transitional in the fall. Like if you wore this on a warm day out, you're probably not knocking anyone out. Maybe okay. Few but. So it's a little on the lighter side, you said. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And a good score, too. I mean, 4.27 with almost 600 votes. That's pretty solid, man. That's a nice score. That is good. That is good. Yeah. That's a good nice. Look at that. See, you guys teach me stuff every day, baby. Look at y'all, man. Love y'all. Uh, Mr. Yeah, Hayes. Every time you find me random thing. Oh, all right. What you so, got? I wanted to, you know, I wanted to bring it around full circle. Since Scott was on again, I wanted to bring it back to Vetiver by Guerlain. Okay. Because why don't we look that up and see what one of the main, you know, one of the. Uh, main. so which one is it? The, that's you got the EDP there or just the regular? The reg, the, the regular one. Okay. Jerry's just playing with our minds today. Yeah. Is there tobacco as one there, of the? Um, it says it says tobacco. Is, uh, is it one of the accords? Is it one of the? Accords? Yeah, on the top. In the top. Is is it one of the accords up there? If yeah, top note. Up. Top note. No, no, no oh, I mean like, on this. Uh yes, yeah, it's like yeah, fifth it down. It yeah, does. It yeah. does because that know, counts. Because, <laughs> no, no, no. Now, no, no, no. The reason that I say this, the, look at all those notes. It's got a hundred notes. The yeah. reason I say this is because it's um inspired by 
a gardener smoking a cigarette in the garden. So, ah, very, very and, interesting. And, and you know what? The reason that this fragrance is so appealing and different, because, you know, vetiver is, you know, you know what vetiver smells like. You know what a vetiver fragrance will smell like. It'll have vetiver with added notes. But this one, I think, captures the essence of vetiver, but, like, the earthiness goes so well with that, that was- tobacco. I, I think tobacco is more than just an opening note. I really think it's part of the whole entire fragrance. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. just like, if you think gardener smoking a cigarette in the garden, <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> Dude, that, I mean, the vetiver smells so good and clean and soapy and like dry, earthy, and the tobacco, you know, this is not something you think that would be a tobacco fragrance, but I mean, it's in the accords. Yeah. It, it is a tobacco fragrance. It, it, it does have that as a main player. And I think aura, yeah. they're, really, they're really selling it short by just putting it up there at the top, but it does have that in the aura. Uh, mm-hmm. you know like something i wanted to pull out that i haven't thought about in a while but you know the last time scott was on we did better so, I figured, you know, <laughs> so you brought it back ah, full yeah. circle very yeah, nice so good. i just yeah. wore that this week Ooh, oh nice so good. I, love it. I think uh i think it's better it's smelling like a a, a gardener smoking a cigarette than homeless guy smoking a cigarette yeah. anyway i mean i, I, I think that's <laughs> i was dude thinking... i'm telling you man it, it smells so good Smoking in a garden, it should be called Mary Jane, right? <laughs> there you go. Man. Not that That's kind of garden, man. It's not that kind of garden. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, but this is uh this families. This is this is definitely uh this is definitely a masculine classic, man. And I and I like the new bottle. I like the new bottle here. I, I think that looks nice. Yeah. yeah. They have the good atomizer. Like yeah. That. Yeah. I have Ooh, the uh, the good. older part farm in the new bottle like that, and yeah, they definitely um they spray out pretty nice, man. They look they look nice too. They all look the same. They have that uniformity. Uh, I like it. I like it better than the taller bottle actually. Um, uh, but the mm-hmm. old the old one before that I think looks kind of cool. The old bottle style, which I think yeah, is uh, the one that, this one, the one I have. Yeah, no, but there's another style that came oh, out yeah, before that. Like yeah, like funny. that one, like the, uh, yeah. this one over here. That yeah, one looks yeah, kind of yeah. cool. It's kind of, it's kind of, they always the change their bottles. Reminiscent of yeah. that yeah. style, I think, which is nice. They, 2000, they I mean, this is, uh, this is a 22-year-old fragrance, man. That's definitely no, taking it, it back. No, it's from the yeah. 50s. It's from the 50s. I think they might have re-released it. They might have re-released it in here? Okay, like yeah. Wow, yeah. man. Yeah, this is good stuff, though. Nice pick. Classic. Yeah, tobacco. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep it. I'm going to keep it kind of like uh, what you did there, then. Something that has tobacco, but... Uh... Well, there we wow. go. This, is, this one was just... Oh, nice. Yeah. I, I, feel like, I feel like... What's yes. the chat saying about this one? I know The tobacco. Like this. this one. This, I love this one, man. This is uh, yeah, this definitely is this masculine, and fresh. Elegant. I know... I know Mark is not a huge fan of the lemon in the top, like the citrus, I like but I, I do. The citrus I do and like the this. lavender kind of like. Yeah, this is good. Like uh, you get the pepper in here too, definitely, but that sort of the tobacco is not really that like sweet. It's yeah, it's more like a dry, leafy, uh, but you pick mm-hmm. it up. I mean, you definitely pick it up in the base and once it dries a little bit. And, uh, you know, definitely uh, the, t- the tonka bean gives it a little bit of sweetness in there. Mm-hmm. And uh, you get the neroli, definitely gives it kind of that slopey cleanness. Um, but uh, yeah, this is this is a nice one, man. I, I like where, and I get compliments when I wear this one too. This oh, is probably nice. one of the ones that I get the compliments on. I'm like, oh, okay, you like that one? Um, I don't know if it smells too much <laughs> like this. I'm not a I'm not a huge uh, fan of this one, but this is a definitely I would consider that a tobacco frag too. That's the um, blossom, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm kind of, I'd be interested to hear someone explain that one here, but yeah. Dreamers sucks. Mature citrus with a fresh opening, musty dry down. I can see that. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one, I, of course, a lot of people say is reformulated. Um, they get a soft, smoky odor, which is a tobacco. You, I definitely see that. Uh, old sticker very, version. Very clean, very crisp. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think this is versatile too. Like I think you could wear this with a t-shirt and jeans, but also you can wear this like dressed up with a suit and yeah, tie, you know. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. one of those where you could kind of go either way with it, you know. Um yeah. it's a good like work set too. I like wearing this in, you know, when I'm in the office and doing stuff in the kitchen Definitely. and things like that. Uh I don't think it's very offensive, but it definitely has that like old school feel. So yeah. like if you ain't into those like 
masculine, like old frags. You, you're probably gonna think this is gonna smell like your grandpa or something, but yeah, I think yeah, I think I think I think this smells mad good. So I, I, this is one I'll keep too. This is a keeper for me. <laughs> like in my collection, this is definitely one yeah, I'll wow. um, keep in the stash. So I think the performance is pretty good too with a scent like this. Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I know people say, oh, they'll take them out, maybe they don't have good performance, but I think if you like this, and this was a strong set for me. So. You know, I think it's like anything, though. Like, some, like, you know, all of us could wear the same frag and we'll all get different you know. yeah. Jeopardy yeah. performance yeah, yeah, out yeah, of yeah. it. It's just how our chemistry is. I mean, I might get 10, you might get three. I mean, it's just how it is, man. This one, though, I, I get it lasts a good while on me for sure. I know I haven't smoked cool water and I smoke cool water. That's See, but people people complain about cool water's performance, but like that one, I you know, that one lasts me like six, seven hours, you know what I mean? That's and that has tobacco in it too. <laughs> I got uh, like some... it, does it? Oh, yeah. does it? Yeah, cool water has yeah. tobacco in the base. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, uh, let's do it. Mr. Scott, which one you got you got next for the people? All right, guys, stay true to my channel. One of my oh. all-time favorites right here. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh, I had that one, too. I did Jeff can that one. Love this fragrance, guys. The, the almond. Oh, man. The plum. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Talk and to him. Tobacco. Some leather nuances in there. Really nice. Talk dirty. Uh, <clears throat> Very creamy. Lots of cherry. Even though cherry's not listening to the notes, it's there. You get the yeah. vibe. Yeah. They always have that cherry vibe. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. very nice. Well, the I pink pepper in there is good too. You pick up mm -hmm. that pepper note. Yeah, nice fresh spiciness. Ooh. Very good. One I of my tell you, this, one, that kind of... this, this one, is... one was on the uh, radical brown um, compared uh, to, and I think it that almost made me think about it. Like this one, I like this one. It's spicy. Beautiful. It's kind of, I don't know. It's definitely closer to the EDT, I think, than the EDP. Personally, it's it's just it's, it is spicy for sure, but it, it just comes together so well. You think this mm -hmm. one's closer to the EDT than the? EDP? Yeah, yeah. Really? I don't like the EDP because that chalky cherry kind of thing doesn't really vibe with my skin. A right. lot of people do like it. It is a beautiful fragrance, but this one, man. It's just... Yeah, Maybe it, it is. It's been so yeah. long since I smelled it, but yeah. Ooh. Now this it's... is a good one. Um, Ooh. it's tough. It's tough to find, though. You got to really be on the hunt for it to find the yeah, bottle for a good price. And again, it's uh, because they're not cheap. On Facebook, it's not up. It's very quick on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah, but I think this is. I think this is bottle worthy. If you like this line, you got to grab I, this one. Yeah, I love the line. It, the whole line has the almond notes, mm -hmm. and there's something about that almond note that's extremely addicting. To mm -hmm. me, it, it very. I, I love it. I don't know what it is, but especially in the cool, when you smell the cool with mm -hmm. the mint and the almond, wow! I gotta get that one. I haven't smelled that Oof. one yet. Is yeah. this your favorite one? About that. What's that? Is this your favorite uh, flanker? Uh, I think I'm in love with the EDP the most because that was like the first one I ever bought. So it's just kind of. Yeah. You know, I honestly, I I didn't even know about it until I watched one of Jeremy's videos, and I wasn't making videos at the time. Mm. And I, I actually ordered that one off of um, Amazon and it came in uh, broke with um, uh, the juice all over the place. So there was still just a little bit of juice in there that I was able to salvage. And I was just like, wow, I have to, I, I immediately bought another one because it was uh, so good. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's a shame yeah. They really like that. Yeah. Terry Wilson, he's, a, he's yeah. good at it. Yeah, this is a good one, yeah. man. This is, yeah. yeah, this is something you got to get your nose on if you haven't. <laughs> Cool. I like the red too. The red bottle looks kind of slick too. Yeah. When it sits yeah. on there, I do yeah. like that. It does Ooh, look fresh. It, does it is have good though. Fruity, it, the, the, the fruitiness does come out. It oh, the plum note is so good. The plum, yes. you know, plum, I, you, almond, tobacco. Listen, you, you know, I love plum. That's like my favorite yeah. note. And then this one, one, this one, it does. This one, it comes through. For I sure. knew somebody was gonna choose this one. So. I almost did. I had I have some in my I bottle, and I was it. like, mm, I was like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So we're, we're up to Mark. Mark, what's your next one, sir? Gov Car. Right. So this is just in the uh, spirit of keeping things interesting. This is Ooh. the Sir Lutan's Cherry. Oh, I don't okay. even know how you pronounce it. I have the decal on that, but I'm not going to. This one. I didn't know you had a bottle of that, Sneaky. Neither did <laughs> 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 This is yeah. an interesting one, man. I knew you would like this. Ooh, one. yeah, here we go. I kind of want to spray it on skin because I get smoke. Hey, 
A, honey, a, tobacco, incense. amber, incense, iris, musk, and rose. That's a mark like, frag. That's a mark it's, frag. It's, it, you know, it's, honestly, I have the ombre sultan, too, and that one is the one I prefer. Mm. Okay. This one, I don't know if it's the musky rose that kind of, like, threw me off on, but, like, this one is kind of, like, one of the first things I understood of, like, what it means to be like niche quality you know like mm. it just has that smell about it that you know is kind of like undecidedly like niche like and yeah that's Serge Lieutenant for you you know they're very uh you know they're very high quality mm -hmm. yeah. I I can't really say a lot that it smells like to me but I definitely get the tobacco note as like one of the big players Hmm. And that rose. Nice. The hay note, that's kind of an interesting concept. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. Incense, it's, it doesn't feel like strong incense to me, but, you know. The hay uh, note I've seen in, um, I forgot which Barbados it is. I don't know if it's vintage or the OG, but that has a hay note that really does like something interesting to it, too. Intenso, yeah, like, don't change about Intenso. Intenso has hay also, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. That, was, that was an interesting one because that's compared to that four ohm, too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wait, I know this. Flanker on it. It's a flanker on it. This is I a popular smell one. Though. stuff like this more. Like, I don't know why. I don't know if I can wear this, though. Uh, that's, I feel the same about it. It's nice, but it's, it's, it's very different. Some stuff, yeah. yes. Some like, stuff like, you gotta be you gotta be able to pull off, man. I mean, not everybody yeah. could pull off everything. Yeah. Unless unless you're sky aromatical, then you could just spray on anything, baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's it's a rough rough life. I know. <laughs> mm. Nice. Well, okay. Yeah. Good one. Right. Good one. What we I got? What we got, Mister Hazy? Uh, I had to bust out my favorite. I brought, I brought this out last time, but the Rich Worm Addictive, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't even go. think tobacco's listed in it, but it's tobacco collection, and it smells like a, you know, a, a sweet vanilla cigar, and it's mm -hmm. just so good, dude. Yeah, dude, I don't, I've, yeah. I've spoken it, it, about it, it at length. It's it definitely has a smoky it. vibe to it, for sure. It does, and it has, you know, it's very, very sweet and light and vanilla, but, like, you know, there's tobacco hiding under, under I the think cat. you, you know, meant to say there. tobacco and tongue. You know what? Just <laughs> <laughs> that one's good, but it doesn't last. This one's much, much better. Really? I love this one. I, I can't wait to wear this one. This person, too. Nine out of ten, man. That's nice. Uh, projected. Uh, this person only got five minutes out of it. Uh, boozy vanilla. <laughs> five minutes. Boozy vanilla <laughs> tobacco. It's like, it's like a... See, soft, sweet tobacco finish. Yeah, it definitely has five a tobacco minutes. vibe in there. Yeah, cigar, five minutes. Yeah, like, a, like a vanilla cigar, you know, like it's uh -huh. really good. I mean, I've spoken about it at length, but it's 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 very unisex. But I think it leans a little masculine just because it has a little something to it. Um, oh, cheapy I'm rum try the reformulation. Boozy, I think I have the old vanilla. formulation. The Do old you, formulation is a little bit more powdery. You've done yeah. them like side by side. Yeah, it's a little. It, I like this one better. This one's more uh, deeper. Richard. Yeah, and the other one, the uh, the original has like a coconut, more coconut perfect. note, so it yeah. almost smells like suntan lotion a little bit. You get that vibe yeah, from I'm it. Not big on that. I'm not big on that vibe. This one's just, this one's just bang. This one is nice. nice. I gotta say, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, I'm I'll go with this one, even though it's hard to find. What is it? A lot oh of yeah, I know. We keep doing. Oh, avant-garde, man. I knew it. Oh, my God. Yeah. This looks so good. I want to go put the bed right up. This one is a banger. Uh, I want to try this one, dude. But you guys always talk uh, about it. Like, what is this like? Yeah, this, supposedly it smells like La Nuit de Lone. Um, Honey, what year um, this came out? 2011? Yeah. Um, my, this my, this so has bee, 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 beeswax, so you definitely it has that, you know, pep, the two peppers definitely you pick mm. up, the juniper. But the tobacco and the dry down you definitely get, man. Um, that looks good as hell. It 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 really pops off like when you first spray it, and you get Ooh. you get that bergamot note for sure. But then once it settles, like the cardamom and the lavender helps it with like you know projection. But then it has that amber, that vetiver, and the tobacco is like 
it is very sweet, you know, and, but I think what, what pushes that sweetness is the notes like the cardamom and the beeswax and the mm-hmm. amber, like it all, and the benzoin, like all those things kind of give it like a sweet twist to it. But yo, this smells really good. I think this is, uh, I would almost say this is better than Lana Wheat de Lome. The only um, thing is, ooh. yeah, yeah, strong, strong words, but I would prefer, <laughs> I would prefer to wear this. I would prefer to wear this if it, but this is this is tough to find. Um, I nice. got luck. I got lucky on a bottle of this. I found it on Frag Buy, and it was a good price. But I mean, I've seen one ounce bottles going for like hundred and twenty bucks. So, um, yeah, so for thirty I saw mils. It on Frag Buy again recently. Yeah, they have fifty. I think it was like fifty mils for like sixty bucks or something, which is not a bad price considering what they're going for online. But yeah, yeah. this is um, it's you know. Yeah, this is uh this is one I definitely think if you could get for a decent price is worth is worth grabbing. I, I know they're kind of not going around as much because it is this Don't get those, any of those others. I think I think one of the things that hurt this frag a lot is that it came out around the same as of uh, same time as uh Lana Weed Delome. So because they smell so similar, you know, people would rather go with the Yves Saint Laurent because it's a more known house, you know what I mean? Whereas Lon Vaughn is like something that you know people yeah. are like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll take the, the YSL instead. But this is yeah. really good, man. But I got a one, question. Uh, no, go ahead, Mark. Sorry. I was just gonna say the YSL is formal evening to me. Like this is yeah. like cozy evening. This is like mm-hmm. you time. I mean, look at the votes too. Four point two out of out of almost eighteen hundred votes. Like yeah. that's that's the people speaking on that one. Now Honey sometimes can have a slightly animalic tinge. Would you say it has any sort of like? No, you know, no, this is. No. You know how no. like you know how Cavalli Uomo has a slight, slight, slight. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, I think this is better than Cavalli Uomo. That's yeah. fight marts. Yeah, dude, mm. this is this is good, dude. This is, Walmos is fucking one of them. Yeah, guy, yeah. Now nah, this is. Uh, I I probably reach for this if I had a pick. I'd probably pick this one. This is this. Is, this is good stuff too yeah Interesting. you know so that's my that's my uh, third one there man i swapped this one probably need to get that back i don't know which one he was talking about but all right cool mr scott what's your next one all right next one i've got a bunch in front of me but i'm gonna go with this one right here this is the pure oh there you go vein. there you oh, go nice. right uh, there you go, there you go. And uh, you were you talking go. about honey and tobacco going well together. Mm. This one definitely does that. Cacao, vanilla, Beautiful. patchouli, the Ooh. chocolatey patchouli. You know, you've got that amber and, of course, the leather nuances. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Look, look at that. There the you one. go. There you go, Scott. Strangely. Go. Me and Scott picked the same. <laughs> me and Scott picked two same ones. There we go. We knew you were coming out. We knew Strangely addictive. Like definitely oh, reminds nice. me of, of fall weather. Love saying it. Cozy. This yeah. looks very oh. similar to the uh, Sundowner. Except no words, I guess. Patchouli, patchouli in there, you definitely <clears throat> pick up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this smells is... nothing like Sundowner, though. No. Animal. It does yeah. smell like this one, Insurrection Wild. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe, maybe. Right? I, have you, I, have you smelled I, that I one? Bring that up. Yeah, have you ever tried that, Scott? No. Oh. Great, great twenty dollar um clone uh, right investment. there. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, yo, ooh, smells very, very much like it. You won't regret to, buying that one. I'll have to yeah. score that. Yeah, you won't regret that one. I definitely nice. see see the comparison on a lot of these. Yeah, this stuff that's a classic, man. It is. I love what you the think of in this one. I knew yeah, you I were gonna it. say that. I knew you were I gonna mean, <laughs> but but like the patchouli, I, the honey and the patchouli are a natural combo. The tobacco and the honey are a natural combo. So all the three, chocolate, it, cacao. It, it just, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and the chocolate, of course. So How would you compare it to Anamale? Which which do you like better? I, I know it's you love closer to Anamale because Anamale is that more like honey patchouli, so it's very yeah very similar in that regard. It has yeah. more of the move. The insurrection doesn't really have like patchouli. Yeah, it's not a similar patchouli. That's for no, sure. it's different. It's got something though, like, but I, I think the insurrection is different. 
Mm-hmm. Well, the, the insurrection has a little bit of a cherry t- cherry nuance to it. It has a yeah, little cherry in you there. Look yes. that one up? So I, you I, picked you know, that one up. Look that one up. Look that one up. Look over here. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, didn't bring it. Yeah, since I had that one, that was one of mine, and we're talking about it so much. So look at let's look at the notes on this. I mean, it's yeah, tobacco, honey, vanilla. It does doesn't have, have that the patchouli cherry. either. It does have that cherry. Yeah, no patchouli. It has that cherry. Oh. It, it reminds me of um, as well gives it a sort of like almost like an old school vibe somewhere in you know in, underneath it that cherry. Yeah, how do they say no cherry? But, it reminds um, me a little bit of like you know a black and mild like when you yeah. smell the tip of a black and mild cigar yeah. like that cherry yeah, yeah. tobacco smell. That's right. what I get out of that one. Yeah, yeah. but like yeah, higher like class, cool. much higher class. You know, right? Yeah, it doesn't smell like yeah like a cheap. Ooh. 75 cents cigar, but yeah. This is $20. <laughs> you know, it, it, I mean, if I were to spray this for you and not tell you the price, you wouldn't think it was 20 bucks. No, I agree with it that. I agree, I agree with that. I agree with that. It's like pure Havan minus patchouli, which I don't really like patchouli that much when it's like heavy and, you know, like in that right in that line. Give me one this is perfect for me. I mean, I'll always, I will always, um, push this one i'll always tell people to buy this one this is one of my you know if you know me you know i really you haven't it. you haven't smelled this one scott i no, think you, know. this one? you got i haven't you we got gotta it, get you this because yeah yeah, we got uh, it. Mom, you yeah I, I might just send them a bottle man just send them a bottle out of the <laughs> love <laughs> It's so cheap, it's cheap enough, yeah, cheap it's, enough. Uh, i think this was one of the first decants i got from you Mo. It's oh, so man. good. And, so, and yo, this was it. Like, I had bought Bogart Poro. I had bought... Yes, you sent me CK like 50 mils of that. I had bought... And this <clears throat> was the fragrance I was looking... I had even got Pure Havan. This was the fragrance I was looking for. Yeah. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Yeah. Like, this this yeah. was perfect so, for me. I don't need another... I, I could go all with her. Yeah. So, Mark, Mark, look at them. They're side by side right here. So Mark sent me a, 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 a we did a swap <laughs> years ago and he must have sent me like fifty mils of that Bogart Pro Arm. I think I still got a ton of it. <laughs> you know, this is the uh, best one. This is the and, best and one. you blew my mind with that with that old uh, sales picture too. I was like, yo, Golche Gabina, like what is that? <laughs> <dude?"> <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is this, yo? So that's crazy. All right, so uh, who was that? That was uh, that was Scott, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, what you got? What well, you got? I, I mean, yeah. That was one of yours, though, right, Jared? The Ray Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we were talking about it, so go ahead. Mark. Right, go ahead, Mark. Uh, let's see. This is my last one I got. So. All right. Uh, yeah, that's my last one too. Uh, this is the Versace man. Oh, oh. yo, I've this this guy. China. This guy yeah. be pulling the stuff out, boy. Let know. me tell you, I man. Know. I was to go for wow. Yeah. Pulling out. <laughs> I wore some of this today. Let me find a place to start. I need a decan of this, Mark. Look at yeah. this. That guy, Mark, is sneaky, boy. I know. Ooh, I, saffron. I smelled this again today, and, you know, by this point, I'm very familiar with the Versace Eau Noir, so. What does this smell like? Uh, like Eau Noir, okay. Yeah. Uh, it, it does? Does it smell similar? smells yes very close i mean the opening huh. is where you get the main difference and that's where you get kind of this warm amber spicy tobacco mm-hmm. it's really the only thing that differentiates the okay the scent from so the i can right see why they, is, i can see why they i can see why they discontinued it then because if they're both so similar you don't need them both well i right. like how it looks i don't know which this is this is more, it's more depth. It's it's everything that Oud Noir is plus some. So it's, mm. it feels like a yeah. crime and um, has no nice. relationship to the Versace man of fresh, I don't think. But it does have a relationship to the other line, which is totally strange. But it's yeah, definitely, definitely way different, looked way different than man of fresh. What year did this come out? Uh, 2003. Man, Woo! that's a 20 year old fragrance, man. Mm. Wow. It's really good though. Yeah. I yeah. really, I only, it was, it was like, this was like a good excuse to go in and spray it, you know? Did yeah, you spend yeah. a lot on this one? No, I got it for 20 bucks. What? Yeah. Wow. 
I had some guy who was just selling it. He was like, I don't, I don't ever wear this. Wow. I was like, yeah, right, look at Mark taking advantage of the community. Yeah. Unbelievable, <laughs> man. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> I ain't yeah. selling you nothing, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, but no, this People is... Uh, this, is worth, this isn't no. worth $150. No, no, I would not pay that either. You nah, can get you are. Yeah. yeah. But no, this is uh, this is uh, this guess has a good rep because a lot of people do mention how good it is, but it is discontinued. So um, I could yeah. definitely see that. Yeah, well, yeah, you got them for twenty bucks, man. Though. That's good. Yeah, they still they still floating around. I've seen like, them. Yeah, I cool. consider myself a Versace collector rather because I have this, you know. Yeah, you have a lot of from the house. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You do. You're a Versace fan. Nice. Versace. Very yeah. nice. <laughs> All right. So Jared had his last one. So here yeah, I'm that gonna was go. my last one. My, mine was gonna be the 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 pure Havan, but I got I got one more that I could pop in here. Oh, so. Yeah, of course, jazz club. Okay, all right. Yeah. I feel like the first record will be tobacco. Yep. Yep. That's that. I mean, this one kind of set the precedent ah. for sweet tobacco fragrances, to be honest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a good one. Um, Pink Pepper, uh, 2013. Mm-hmm. Uh, you definitely get that rum note. It smells. It smells like you. It smells like you're in a club drinking. Yeah, you know what I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. Danella Bean, it's definitely a little bit of uh, resinous. Right. Uh, I smell it in the air. I don't know why. For some reason, I get like a. It reminds me a little bit of like suntan lotion. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else kind of gets that, but I get that kind of vibe from it a little bit, that like in the like- air. Yeah, it's somewhat. I feel like a couple replicas have that, especially the fresher ones. That might just be part of their, one of the notes they use. Maybe yeah, that's their holy, sure. Clary Sage. Yeah, yeah. It, it just has that. I don't know. It has like it smells. It smells like it has coconut, but it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why I get that vibe from it, but I, I think mm-hmm. it's nice. I mean, on skin, it smells really good. Um, and I definitely you know I like this one better than the fireplace one or whatever. Um, yeah, I'd rather wear this one, but a lot of people say it's like a niche or a higher end version of this. Um, also, I guess I can see that. Malachi, I don't know, those two are very different to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, poorer cousin of scandal, I guess, conjures up the feeling of. I definitely do, I, I definitely do like get the, the vibe of like being in an old club with booze and and, and yeah. smoke yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, has yeah. that, it has that feel to it. Has been wearing Robert, Robert Grand Valor. That's a good one, too. Um, but yeah. I think that one's discontinued. Somebody, somebody mentioned it in the chat. Um, but yeah, man, that's that's my last one. I think uh, you can this this is still readily available. You can go smell it at Sephora, no problem, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is a good one, though. That was my backup in case somebody snatched one of mine. So. <laughs> right. I, I wanted to do, I wanted to do, talk, if you guys wanted, we can look up that Sahara off the back. I don't know if you got an opinion about that one. Oh, yeah, oh, that was, yeah. Well, oh, he had did he have more? <laughs> uh, I told you. I told you Scott had him on the deck. He had got some tobacco frags on deck, man. Oh, yeah, uh, I tried this one. This is an interesting one. This, this is a good one. Nice. I've smelled this one, too. This is nice. Look at those yeah. notes, though. Ooh. Uh, well, Agarwood, Pimento, Virginia Cedar, Boston mm. for Devana. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. Australian Sandalwood and the plum in there on the, in the base. No, Ooh. Yeah, this is a nice one. Uh, I, feel like the, I feel like the tobacco is, is more forward in this than a lot of sweet tobacco fragrances. And mm-hmm. and um, I, that's what I like about it. Mm-hmm. It does well, it goes like well with that pimento. The, you, this is yeah. kind of, it's almost like an aromatic tobacco too, mm-hmm. you feel, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's an aromatic. Feeling, very yeah. much yeah. so. Not as I, sweet like pure from Yeah, I haven't smelled any other tobacco fragrance like this one. That's it's really amazing. The main attraction yeah. to it for me. <laughs> What is, what is it? Is it compared to, okay, get boundless? Oh, look, it's so compared to this uh, one. Yeah, I, can see that. I don't, it doesn't it's, smell like tobacco vanilla at all. No, no. no. Tobacco, I was really going to pick the um, the clone of this, that tobacco leaf that you sent me, but I was like, eh, that one's good, though, but that one, the tobacco is so dry. It's like a really, yeah. really dry tobacco leaf. Right, right. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, this 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 Sahara. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a beautiful house. So I mean, if this is definitely one 
you can grab. I think if you like those kind of scents. But uh, like I was saying, the Scott is definitely aromatic because the lavender is forward. And if you smell like the original Zahara of Port Ohm, like the lavender and that is beautiful. So when you when you think about that kind of lavender with this tobacco yeah. honey blend, it's, it's, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. It's a good one. All right. Plus, All right. Classic. Nice. Good fragrance. Uh, it's going to stop share. Nice, nice list, everybody. Uh, Wait a second. Okay. Before we stop. Yeah, got four more. No, 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 no. <laughs> For our giveaway, what should we make the stipulation? Oh, okay. So uh, what are we doing? The 1250 uh, uh -huh. member giveaway, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. Uh, I don't know. Go ahead. Come up with something. Do you Jira think was um, talking about trivia questions? Yeah, yeah I think trivia, trivia questions, questions. I think trivia questions will work, and then uh, we can enter it that way. I don't know if anybody's in the chat because I can't see. Hey, you, Adam, what's up, man? Cry. Getting big on you, Scott. <laughs> oh my Say God. hey. Hi. Hey, Adam, what's up, man? Good. Good. Oh, All right. Do you see any fragrances here that you like uh, sitting in front of you? Mm -hmm. Which one? Sure. Show them. Real quick. Which one is that? Oh, uh, slide it over, slide it over. He's got London. Oh, nice. oh yeah. okay, okay. Nice we didn't talk about good one, space good one. Yes. Oh, space Burberry space. London. Yeah. There you go. There, there you go. Everybody buy it. Classic. Bye. 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 Thanks for Bye. Man, he's getting tall on you, Scott. Oh, man. Dude, he plays basketball nonstop. Nice. That's good. Nice. That's yeah. good, man. Yeah. Nice. I remember the first time you brought him on, he had his like little ninja turtle shirt on and he was like this <laughs> tall. Damn. I'm like, oh man, he He's got shit on him. Yeah, yeah, man. That's what happened. Dragging, dragging my old butt down to the court all the time. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh man. Schooling, schooling pops. There you go. Yeah. So so Jared, what you want to do? You want to put some questions in the yeah, in the chat? Yeah, well, no, well, not right now, but I think we'll uh, make a post about it with some trivia yeah. questions, and we'll have some answers, and we'll see how it turns out about like, there you the go. podcasts and like what well, you know, like name three fragrances that each of us constantly mention. You know, like, okay, all right, yeah. So. yeah, and I know you got uh, some people that added to the giveaway. You had something uh -huh. you want to give away. I definitely yeah, could a give of, something a away. Stuff. All right, cool. Stuff. Sounds all good. Right, cool. Uh, right. Scott, thank you so much for your time this thank evening. You, uh, you also, I did get your package yesterday, so thank you so much for that. Uh, you oh, threw my... some gems in there, man. So thank you. Um, my, my pleasure. One of the ones I really liked was that uh, niche for all that amber uh, vetiver one. Man, that is nice. Yeah, I was a, like, I think, it's a Clive, I think it's a Clive Christian dude. Yeah, I saw. And then when I looked at the price of the Clive Christian, I said, oh, this needs to all look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, it, it was, it, I was like, wow, this is, this is nice, man. It, it, it caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting to like it that much, but that's you probably one of the ones that really hit me out that pack. So nice. You're going nice. to keep that, uh, that Guerlain cologne for yourself? Yeah, well, I have some. I have some that's like a little bit in there, and I, you know, I'm, I've been selling that that's one. So that's going in the chef cabinet. So is that Zahara that you sent me too? You know, yeah, that's going. You know, that's going in the chef. Yeah, that's going in the chef's closet, man. But yeah, I still have probably about thirty mils out of a hundred. That's another frag I've gone through three bottles of. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, the amount of juice I've pumped out of here is outrageous. But mm. you know. Congrats. It's all for the people. It's all for the people, man. So man. thank y'all for watching. Thanks, Scott, for being on. Like I said, if you if you haven't subbed to Scott's Bye. channel, let's get him to that 2500 So 50 Scott away. Aromatical, 50 away. So look at that. Not too many. Uh, and fellas, thank y'all. As always, it's been a pleasure. Have all a right. good week and God we'll bless.